Hello and welcome to the preview of the game called The Fall of Innsmouth which is uh, a very simple war game for one player that can be expanded upon maybe even cooperative game against the uh, AI or could be played with two players it is possible uh, with some modification but right now it is strictly a solo game and what you see on the screen are all the components set aside and I'm gonna explain what they do I'm gonna talk a bit about the game and then in the next video we're gonna do a playthrough and you'll see how the game works so for those that knows uh, writing of HP Lovecraft you probably know the story uh, I think it's called Shadow over Innsmouth uh, it involves some strange cults uh, inbreeding with the uh, deep ones uh, a Dagon and so on and so on so at the end of the story uh, uh, police well basically uh, I think federal agents came into the town and destroy all the evidence basically of the deep ones and you know destroy the cult and so on but in this game we actually have uh, two forces we have US Army and uh, federal agents or the police that's gonna enter the town and they actually have the objectives they need to complete it's not just uh, kill all the cultists it's actually save the civilians take the cultist strongholds and uh, prevent the Dagon from uh, uh, <laughs> destroying the world so uh, let me ex sh explain you about these components and uh, how one turn actually works so let's start with the components so of course you can see here a big uh, map with all of the locations lots of icons what's important here is these two staging areas we have one staging area for the US Army and one mixed staging area for the police or the US Army from these staging areas you're gonna form uh, your little uh, like regiments using these chits which actually does, doesn't have much of the info on them it's quite simple uh, they have some markings are they like conscripts or veterans and uh, their strength like this number and the name and some of these actually also have an icons which are important for some special effects they can do you will fo form these regiments you also have some leaders that you can assign to these regiments they also give them uh, special abilities then you're gonna place them in these staging areas and from there you're gonna move uh, this is a point to point movement you're gonna move and try to capture as many points you you can uh, the game is uh, gonna last 24 turns you have see here this is a time tracker so 24 turns uh, representing like 24 hours in which you have to do these objectives uh, locations have these little icons I'm gonna explain them during a playthrough for now it just uh, these ones with the stars are basically cultist strongholds they are these are the objectives you wanna go for uh, we have a casualty calculator here that's how many dice you're gonna roll depending on how many units are fighting other units so you can see like if you have a three units fighting two units you're gonna check the table you're gonna roll one casualty dice for each side and how that works it's quite simple uh, if you roll equal or higher than your strength you're gonna take a casualty so you're gonna flip the token and it's gonna go step down all right and there are for each of these uh, tokens there are multiple stepping down well depending on, on the units you have for instance like these federal agents they actually have a step that goes all the way to the one but with the Boston police you also can go all the way to the one but lo like local militia they only have two steps and then they are destroyed uh, we have of course cultist forces we have US Army they are more equipped have better units of course and uh, there are a deck of cards here this is the event de uh, deck uh, it's gonna drive the game basically each turn you're gonna draw a card resolve the some events and then you're gonna get some uh, 
of these action points which you can see by the icons you can assign to move your troops on the board and do actions with them like uh, attack regroup uh, rally and so on or just move all right here we also have a spot where we're gonna put six investigators now these investigators are actually here in these little uh, bags these investigators are gonna be randomly assigned to these spots and each spot it actually have a name of a district so for instance as you can see on the map we have six districts we have a Southwick, Church Green, Tongue of Sand, Outskirts, Town Center and the Warehouse District and each of these investigators is basically already in town working for us but from inside uh, they can provide info they can also help you out to advance uh, to, to the streets and they're gonna help you out with the civilians and some other things you, you'll see uh, <coughs> they're gonna be randomly assigned and each time you use them uh, this danger tracks gonna either rise or gonna stay where it is depending how good you roll because these investigators can be captured and killed by the cultists because in doing so trying to provide you help they can reveal themselves and that's how they can actually be destroyed uh, later in the game we are, might have the epic monster showing up this guy here Dagon and the only way you can kill him is using these navy ships <coughs> and if you don't manage to do that you're gonna lose the game now we can prevent the Dagon from showing up at all uh, because somewhere in this city there will be six artifacts from which only three are uh, important for the cult to summon the Dagon if you manage to find these artifacts you can actually prevent Dagon from showing up but if you do not he's gonna show up and if he's alive till the end of the game and which is on turn 24 well you lose the game and you well you suffer like minor victory uh, it's not like you it's not like total loss but uh, points you get are really s small and it's, it's nothing so basically it's a loss <laughs> let's call it a loss uh, what else we have uh, we have these fog of war tokens which are double sided they b will be placed on the map so when you enter the the space uh, with the units you're gonna flip the token and then we have these two charts on which you're gonna roll to see the what kind of units are there and what you have to fight to to capture that location uh, we have seven bridges in the game that could be destroyed you can actually see here on the map uh, these spots where these bridges should be set so once your forces like move through the town uh, you probably want to split them up basically to to get more uh, more coverage because the time is running out so and it's not really li like you're not gonna storm to the town it's gonna be lots of fighting so you're gonna have to decide where you want to go what's your important points probably these ones with, with these stars but sometimes you actually can do some strategic moves uh, because there is a rule in this game that if you manage to capture the point where the enemy ne uh, with these flags actually where those are the points where the enemy have to retreat if they can because every time the enemy wanna retreat and they can't the, that unit is basically destroyed so you wanna capture also those points and uh, I'm gonna now set up the game let me see did I forgot to do something no I'm gonna set up the game and then we are gonna do a playthrough video alright so what you do at the beginning is you take all of these fog of war tokens and we place them face down on this location but there are six set aside with these we late letter which means veteran units so these are the better units we also gonna set them down but we already know they're gonna be veteran units and you place these on each of this spot with the star so there will always be veteran units on those spots there are six of those 
and if you manage to capture your objective is to capture at least four of them all right here it is you get more points if you capture all of them but four is enough to complete that objective all right then we're gonna shuffle all the rest and just place in all these locations randomly and this is going to provide uh, some replayability because you'll never know uh, what kind of units you're going to face moving through, the, through this town and each location has one token for it and there are I think 30 locations in total so you don't have to capture all of them but you probably want to move well depending you'll see how the game works uh, sometimes you will have to make some tough choices like what what can you do in that amount of time and but it's safely to say that the more locations are cleared the more points you get and you already see that there are two types of location these circle ones and these uh, like uh, boxed boxes that give you more points of course and uh, you want to go for them all right is that did i missed ah oh, yeah church green all right after that we're gonna take these civilian tokens they're also double-sided from one side they're just said civilians other side there are some numbers uh, this is how much civilians are those spots you're also gonna shuffle them and you can see these little icons with the black silhouette of a man you're gonna place one of these tokens on each side. Those are the civilians that are right now held by the cult and that you need to save. You can actually see here there is a civilian casualties and civilian save. Uh, the more civilians you get, the better. Uh, if you pass the, ca the number of the casualties, you also can lose the game in the end. So you wanna save these people if it's possible and you want to save as much as you can so there are 10 of these spots where the civilian is going to be okay let's see did I, ah yeah here and here all right now one more yeah yeah lastly we have these six artifacts again there are double sided tokens on one side nothing found but some of them actually have these here it is Th that's the artifact so there are six of them you also gotta randomize them and you gotta place them on the spots with these hexes with the little like a hole in so these are the spaces where these artifacts could be that you need to find to stop the dagon from showing up there's one there, one there, okay, did I miss the spot, uh, oh yeah, here one, and one more, here, alright, so after you do that, you're gonna take this deck of cards, which right now has a, there are 36 cards in total, this one called the fall of Innsmouth is always the first card on the top so that's why I set it aside the rest of the cards you're gonna shuffle and from there you're gonna take 23 which will with this one form a deck of 24 cards which represents basically 24 turns because each turn you draw a card so I'm gonna cut this uh, to 23 the rest of the cards I'm gonna set aside they will not be used in this game then I'm gonna shuffle this again place this on top and that's gonna prepare your event deck uh, then I'm gonna take these six investigators I'm also gonna shuffle them a bit and then I'm gonna place them from left to right in these spots so in the type of investigators that you have in the town on the different districts is also going to be always the different uh, the game is highly replayable so what these investigators have as you can see here 
this lady has a plus two to the roll on the danger track the higher number is better because you can see here you roll two dice when, when they are in danger and it starts for one to three so if you roll one or three you're gonna get captured but she has a plus two so like if I roll like uh, snake eyes just two it's gonna be four so she can't be captured at the beginning so that's a good thing and she is right now in Southwick uh, which is here so this all area uh, Southwick area is she's somewhere walking down these locations and she can be help me out with some things uh, not much in the Southwick sadly because I really wanted her to be here maybe in Church Green with this really good bonus because this is where she can actually uncover where how much civilians are held uh, where the artifacts are and what kind of uh, forces we have here all right then I need to place these uh, uh, bridges so I'm also gonna shuffle them randomize them and then I'm gonna place from left to right again filling all these spots uh, because these bridges can actually be destroyed during the game there are seven bridges you'll see and actually bridge number seven starts destroyed he so that bridge is always destroyed destroyed bridges means this path here is unpassable so it is not possible to move through here and by the way you'll probably see there is a red lines and like a dark blue lines dark blue lines are places in cover so when your troops move over them they when they are attacking or moving through them they are in cover so they will not suffer additional casualties but these red ones are open spaces so when you're attacking over them they are they always get shot you know from from the enemy like every bridge is like an open space and then we're gonna take these little cubes here and we're gonna place it on each bridge let me do this quickly this represents that every bridge is mined there are explosives put on them by the cultists and during a game they could actually be destroyed and that could affect how you're gonna move through this town and what you can do uh, because cultists will do anything just to stop you from reaching your objectives okay uh, another thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set these event tokens each of them represents the event that's gonna happen during this uh, time 24 hours and they're gonna happen in different spots uh, from left to right we have the reinforcements which which you're gonna get somewhere during the game uh, and also this reinforcement token when you when you pick it pick it up and basically when these little token moves over it you're gonna pick it up it's gonna go here in the combined forces space which will announce that you actually could combine police and military forces into s single regiments right now uh, when you making regiment you ba basically making a stack and the maximum stack in this game you can make is three that's how much you can have people in one stack and the maximum regiments i mean stacks that you can have in locations is two so there are some rules how much you troops there be in locations how much sta your stack can be high this helps you out to actually stack police and the military together right now you can only put military on military units and uh, police on police units so that's gonna think first thing that's gonna happen uh, and how do we determine this we roll a die and then counting from the this space here we don't count the first two rounds so uh, we can't have the reinforcement during the first two rounds we count each space and place the little token so one two three four five six on turn eight we're gonna have some reinforcements and ability to combine forces which is pretty high to be honest in this right now <laughs> Uh, so this playthrough reinforcements will be uh, coming late the next thing you need to check 
uh, which is actually also good you'll see that each of these tokens we're gonna roll a die so I guess the Dagon's gonna show up re really late which is good for me uh, the next token is the token for the deep ones because Cult is gonna get some reinforcements too, and the deep one's gonna show up. You can actually see here these numbers in the green. Uh, they're gonna get from a C and get into these locations. They are pretty tough. I can show you the cheats. Ah, it's here. Uh, they have ability to panic troops. This little uh, icon with the man with the brain and they have a strength of 5 because each of these cultists are actually lower strength than your military and the police because they don't have actual you know combat training but the deep ones are well something special <laughs> so let's see when they gonna show up oh right after these reinforcements okay uh, after that the navy is gonna show up they're gonna be placed here on these spots and if you probably asking what are these triangles we can see them here and here and they have different colors well this triangle represents the spaces where you can put your artillery pieces and from there artillery can hit all of these locations with these little other triangles in, in a circle so for the ships you can see if I have ships here I can shoot inland on these orange triangles and uh, there is artillery and how that works is we have these tokens here artillery hits which are randomized and from the other side there is how much destruction they cause they go from one to three all right so let's see when the ships gonna show up okay three one two three on the turn twelve we're gonna get some navy help <coughs> and the ships are always gonna show up before the Dagon so there is a chance we can actually destroy him even if we don't find those artifacts all right then we have another token so this represents that the cult is gonna be desperate and they're gonna execute all their civilians uh, that, that they're holding so this is basically a timer for you to really rush and save the, as many people as you can well, let's see when this is going to happen oh right after the navy shows up so i guess they get desperate when the navy shows up and just kill everybody you know to to stop you from reaching your objective oh this will be <laughs> interesting game and lastly dagon wow five one two three four five so on turn 18 Dagon is gonna show up and if I don't manage to kill him after the turn 19 it's gonna be end game unless I actually prevent him from showing up okay so after we set all of these I'm gonna put these cards here because they're gonna be used during your game extensively these little charts after we set all of these it's time to form our forces so how we do this we get 30 points to buy our forces and uh, these are the limited tokens so uh, everything that basically gets uh, destroyed you set aside so you are limited by I mean uh, when the reinforcements came up later on if some of your forces are already destroyed then you can also have a limited uh, availability of other things you can buy so how much do they cost well that's where these little like uh, conscript C and veteran V uh, comes into place so each conscript unit and by the way these a unit means advanced unit so and you can also see these leaders have advanced commander or advanced unit so these ones can't be bought by right now you can only introduce these ones uh, during the reinforcements so I will not look at them so basically this negotiator guy that you can see here negotiator and this uh, inform guy they will come in uh, if I buy them during the 
a reinforcements part so on turn 8 all right so how much do they cost so every veteran unit cost two points and then you add one point for uh, additional special ability if they have so for instance this artillery actually costs three points two points because it is a veteran unit and one more point because they uh, can actually shoot at the distance this means they they are range uh, unit same thing with the machine squad but because they are conscripts they cost one point but they can do additional casualties this is like on there with the skull so they are actually two points and each leader cost three points so that's how you know uh, the cost of each unit so let's form some uh, units actually I'm gonna do that before the playthrough because I need to spawn a calculator and just do it uh, so I don't make any mistakes but right now you know how how it's done so I'm gonna cut this video short uh, I, I, the, during the playthrough video I'm gonna quickly just form my units or maybe I can even form them in, in between so they are already set and then we're gonna start playing and you'll see how everything works in any case thanks for watching uh, and as always if you like the content I'm providing and the games I'm showing put a little like uh, it means of <laughs> I mean it's not nothing special but I I was hoping the channel is gonna grow at, at least a, a little bit so see you next time and uh, goodbye